and we're back again with uh, what we're going to call Film Review 2.0. As in, oh, there he goes again, making a fool of himself on the internet. And the only real difference being is I'm going to try for consistency. With that being said, I'm filming like five videos today for the purpose of going out every Friday starting on, well, the 6th when you're seeing this. Because you will see this on the 6th, I swear. Anyways, I'm Dill. This is Film Review. You know, the show where we look at uh, four categories. Color, resolution, sharpness, and uh, of course, grain. And uh, I blab away, show you some photos, pretend like my opinion matters. You give me all of your attention, and uh, yeah, i see you next Friday. Okay, let's begin. Oh wait, I forgot. Today we're looking at Color Plus, 200. Plus what? I have no idea. Let's find out. But first, what the heck is Color Plus 200? It's a 200 speed, fine grain color film dating back to 1982, where it originated from Kodak HR disc film known as VR 200. Then somewhere in the mid 90s, it was rebranded to Kodak Color 200, eventually becoming what we know today, Color Plus around 2000, 2001. And it still exists today. And it's relatively cheap. So, yep, that's all there really is to know about it. Let's go to the categories. Color, here we come. Like I've been saying, plus what, Kodak? Plus what? The audacity. For real though, it's not too bad when exposed properly. It does need to be exposed properly. There's not much latitude here. And I feel like it's lacking quite a bit of color. I have read a lot about how there's a lot of color in this film stock for being a cheap film stock, but quite frankly, I disagree. And I'm really caught up on what the addition is. I would really like to know what the addition is. Anyways, uh, five stars, next. <laughs> Good scans, good resolution, we know this. Should I just remove this category at this point? I don't even know anymore. Eight stars, you knew that. Unless you're new around here, you didn't know that. And if you're new around here, thanks for showing up, stick around. But basically, I give all resolution eight stars because it's the exact same scanning process and I don't know, tell me I'm wrong. See ya. over here now. I was kind of worried about this roll, I'm not gonna lie. I used my G1 90 mil pretty morning, pretty early in the morning, so basically wide open on the aperture. But I'm surprised, the 200 speed film, early in the morning, wide open, it holds up well. I would contribute most of this to the Zeiss optical lens. Zeiss optical lens. Optical and lens are basically the same thing. So the Zeiss optics are the reason that this is kind of sharp. But uh, yeah, six stars. It's really, really fine grain. And normally I would hate that. So I'm kind of confused why I like it. I don't know. Is this called growth? 10 stars. Moving on. And welcome to the last part of this episode. I'm gonna show some photos here, talk about why I like them. Okay, starting with this one. 
I just like the shine from the glass. Again, I really think this has to do with the Zeiss optical, but yeah, I don't know, nice and simple. I've been really, really gravitating towards just trying to make things look like you're just looking at them. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like it's kind of off topic, but in the world of photography, cameras do too much and I think people are trying to use that too much is what I'm trying to say and I don't know how I got here from talking about one photo but anyways moving on to the next photo strong vertical lines mostly created by those shadows but I really like that it draws a lot of contrast with the nice warm sun and then with the subject matter it is slightly off center which I believe just again creates some contrast and draws your eye to it again very simple photo but I do enjoy it I don't know it's just simple and I like checkerboards. So, uh, yep, I like this one too. Okay. So what did we learn? I learned that budget film stocks, budget color film stocks are harder to shoot than the pro film stocks, which I guess makes sense, but I, in my head that's kind of backwards. You should have to work with the perfect, Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll probably never shoot this again. I don't really care for it at all. And I really don't like 200 speed film for this, like my style of shooting. I'd need a faster lens to make that work. So uh, yeah, I did learn that I kind of like fine grain now though, which is super odd. So I don't know, gonna keep an eye on that. Anyways, consistency. So see you next Friday. I will aim for East Coast, East Coast? Yeah, I'll aim for East Coast in the morning time zone. Like nine or 10-ish on the East Coast, I think, will be the plan. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my part in being consistent and I need you to do your part and show up and give me your attention. Ko-Fi, it's like Patreon, but it's not Patreon. You can sign up for monthly subscription or you can just donate $5 whenever the heck you feel like it. I am going to start posting on there regularly, so every time you see a film review, you can go to the Ko-Fi and see the photos, and I'm gonna write a little blurb about it where you can maybe see a little bit more of my thought process or what I think about photos, certain photos, yada, yada, yada. Um, and you can communicate me with me a little bit more directly there. I find YouTube comments to be kind of a challenging part of YouTube for me, and I'm not totally sure why, but yeah. If you wanna try and talk me through Ko-Fi, that might work better for us. We'll see, um, yeah. Thanks, love you, bye. See you next Friday, please. Please, 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 please.